Hello, and thank you for joining us for today's broadcast. This broadcast is a product of Shrine Media, LLC. Unauthorized use, sale, or redistribution of this media in any form is strictly prohibited without the express written consent of Shrine Media. Radio and television mediums are encouraged to reach out. Thank you for tuning in. Enjoy the game. At Shrine Media, we believe in the power of connection, promoting your brand while supporting your community. Our goal is to elevate your presence and amplify your message through local sports. With Shrine Media, advertising goes beyond traditional boundaries. Get on television, make an impact, take the first step towards a future where your brand is not just seen, but celebrated. A truck is a tool, but a ram, a ram is life. Yeah, it's the wipe the sweat off your brow sort of life. But it's also the let's load up the ATV's life. The my kids play way too many sports life. The let's find a secret spot to fish life. That looks nice. Innovations, comforts, and powertrains built to power all the lives you live. Ram. Welcome to Kingsport, Tennessee. Those of you just joining us, Appalachian Athletic Conference Tournament Basketball, the men's side of the bracket. Thrilled to have you with us. Southeast Sports Network, AAC Digital Network. I'm Gabriel Shry. Hope you're having a great morning. Love having you along for the ride. Here's a look at our men's basketball bracket. We played games one, two, and three. Game three just moments ago. Really close from between the Milligan Buffaloes, Johnson Royals. We're in game four, it's in the top left. Union Bulldogs, Tennessee Wesleyan Bulldogs. The winner will advance onto the next round, the semifinals. Southeast Sports Network, live free HD online, SESNsports.com, Appalachian Athletics Conference, Digital Network, AACsports.com. From Kingsport, thrilled to have you along with us. Here's a look at our contenders in game two of today, game four of the men's bracket. Both Bulldogs, Tennessee Wesley and Union College. Let's get to know these two programs, starting with Union College. 22 and six overall this season, nine and five in road games. I go by road games for these tournament games because they play so few neutral games during the season. Every game feels like an away game in these neutral sites. 45% as a team this season, 86 points per game. Really, really efficient. Tennessee Wesleyan, I feel like their stats are a little lopsided. 11 and 14 overall, 43% field goal shooting, 75 points per game. I say that because they played a really tough out-of-conference schedule, covered them in a game they played at UT Chattanooga in the roundhouse, did really well with some of that Division I talent. So this is a team that played a super tough out-of-conference schedule, competed really well in the AAC. Excited to see how they do today in this game. Player to watch, first Union College's Bulldogs, Markello Sullivan, who we're going to keep an eye on today. 17.1 points per game this season for the Bulldogs. 52% from the floor, 41% from range, also nine rebounds per game, which is a crazy clip. And to watch for Tennessee Wesleyan, 
They came up with a big upset over the number seven seeded Reinhardt University Eagles in yesterday's play-in game. Amari Young was a crucial part of that. Ten and a half points per game during the regular season, a couple of rebounds, shooting 50% from the floor. He's going to be an important piece in this game if the Bulldogs of Tennessee Wesleyan want to come up with a victory. There's the Tennessee Wesleyan Bulldogs finishing up their warm-ups down on the floor. SCSN, AAC Digital Network, thrilled to have you along with us and hope you're as excited as we are for this one. Bulldogs are ready to go, as are we. I'm Gabriel Shrive. Be sure to get connected on social media with both SCSN and the AAC. You can find us at SCSN Sports. You can find the AAC at AAC Sports. Be sure to get hooked up, connected, and follow along for all your favorite teams throughout the course of this tournament and forever. We'll take a short break and be right back to get started between these two on the Southeast Sports Network and AAC Digital Network. Welcome to SESN, your ticket to the front row of the sports world, covering local, regional, and national events. We bring the game to you. Feel the excitement of every play, every score, every victory. Get your seat, get on air, and immerse yourself in the heart-pounding action. The Southeast Sports Network, where sports come to life. States has been written for centuries, penned by millions of authors, written in every language, from every perspective, with every chapter as unique as our people and our land. Our story is one made up of many. Find yours in the USA. In love. Welcome back to Kingsport, Tennessee, about to get ready to go. College basketball, SCSN, AAC, Digital Network, thrilled to have you with us. Union College Bulldogs, Tennessee Wesleyan Bulldogs, a chance to go to the semifinal of the AAC tournament on the line. Only one can advance. Thanks for being with us for playoff basketball between these programs. Thrilled to get started. We've covered our players to watch. It's Markello Sullivan for Union Amari Young for Tennessee Wesleyan. And we're ready for tip between the Bulldogs of Tennessee Wesleyan and Union College. Tip-off, set up. Union College with the ball first. To the close side. Bulldogs looking for a soft spot. The three is short. Ball's loose. I thought Ty Hurst had it for a moment. Picked up by Turner. 
Turner tees this up, a drive from the straightaway won't go, clatters around before it rolls off. Still scoreless, 30 seconds into this. Tennessee Wesleyan's Amari Young runs the floor. Drive inside, this one a sidestep and the floater short. I like the look, couldn't knock it down. Sullivan to the corner. The three a bit too much, big high bounce. We remain scoreless 60 seconds into this. <laughs> Ty Hurst running the floor for Tennessee Wesleyan. Long ball to the far side, Amari Young. Young, the entry pass. Looking to get hooked up with Reed, taken by Union College. Mid-range, off the mark. Still scoreless, 90 seconds into this. Flat start, Amari Young looking to snap it. Entry pass, loose, and Skeeter's off the floor. Looking for Kobe Pride, the junior from Unionville. Couldn't quite get hooked up with him. Union College will take back over with the ball. Markello Sullivan, one of the finest performers in the AAC this season. Drive down inside, floated back up top. Sullivan finished second in the league in rebounding. Led the league in steals as well. 52 to go along with 12 blocks. Average 17.1 points per game. Still scoreless, two minutes gone. Amari Young snaps that with a little kiss off the glass. Young, our player to watch for Tennessee Wesleyan's Bulldogs. He's been really efficient, striking out, taking down programs from Southeast Tennessee all season long, a junior native to Lawrence. Here's the pull up, won't go. Oh, and well, big high bounce, and that one falls from Markel Turner, the senior from Barberville. Turner, a product of Barberville High. Great season for him as well. 12 points per game, 100 rebounds, 75 assists, 17 steals this year during the regular season. Started 23 of the 26 games Union played in. Amari Young runs the floor. One point game in the early stages, one lead change already. Off the mark. Entry pass, Bulldogs back to the straightaway. And this one turned over. Three minutes gone, five points scored. Loaded to Pride, Pride to Young. Ty Hurst, up to the wing. Looking back up top, Ty Hurst tries this in short. Union College Bulldogs will take this back up the floor in a one-point game. We've played three and a half minutes. Deontay Douglas, the senior from Owensboro, going to take it himself, trying the floater, and it's off the mark. Douglas really good this year. Key piece for Union. Hurst, another really crucial guy, really special guy for TWU. Peyton West, the junior. Entry pass stolen by Union. Union College, Mazga running the floor, gives it off. Pitched to the back side, now from the corner for three, this one off the front. West gets the rebound. What a cold start for these two who have been so hot all year long. Really bizarre to see this 
Union averaged 86.5 points per game. Tennessee Wesleyan, 75.5. We've only got seven points combined. We're nearly five minutes into the game. Taken back by Tennessee Wesleyan. This one goes. Now the lid might be off. Spoke too soon. Two lead changes already. 6-3, three, three-point game. Union College, Mazga. Loses the ball. Picked back up. Floated far side. Ty Hurst out front, and this one's easy off the rim. Doesn't get it, and Pride cleans it up. Junior from Unionville, a good chase to the basket to make sure that didn't roll out. Now a five-point game just five minutes into this. We'll take a break and be back. More college hoops in a moment. SESN AAC. Welcome back to Kingsport, Tennessee. Five-point game, five minutes into this one. Southeast Sports Network, Appalachian Athletic Conference, Digital Network, live and free tournament games all day long. Here's the drive to the basket, a second chance now for Union College as the ball skeeters over the baseline, and we get the violation. Bulldogs of Tennessee Wesleyan, three of eight from the floor for six points. Union College, one of nine for three points. 37.5% for TWU. Union College, 11% shooting to start the day. It's got to be because it's a morning game. Not, not morning teams, right? Just a whole team of not morning guys. I think I'm a morning guy. 8-3, five-point game. Tennessee Wesleyan Bulldogs. Leading by five. Ty Hurst dicing it up. Stepping out, trying Jay Reed. Product of Birmingham, Alabama. This is Young, our player to watch for the Bulldogs. He cuts to the basket, trying this, swatted at, falls loose on the baseline, and gonna go with Union College. Union College. Looking to right the ship on shooting after the timeout. We've already seen two lead changes in the early stages. Bulldogs in orange going inside at a violation before he can get set up. Young picks up the foul. We played almost seven minutes. Long inbounding pass back to Hamilton. Douglas to the corner. Here's the drive, and the floater goes. Union gets one. Markel Turner starting the process of getting the lid off for Union College. Ty Hurst on the wing. Amari Young on the straightaway. I thought he was going to pull up for the long three. Hurst wants the wide open three. Can't get it. Pride rebound. Second chance. Short. Battle for the ball. Pride's going to try a third time. Now waved off. Tennessee Wesleyan not happy about it. Ty Hurst, the floater to Pride. Hands it off to Peyton West. Trying to lose the defender in traffic, stolen by Union College. Nice pick out of the air by Conley. Running the floor is Turner. Peyton West looking for the steal. He'll pick up the reach in. Nashawn Jones, 
crucial part yesterday against Reinhardt's Eagles in the upset win for Tennessee Wesleyan. We'll see how he performs against Union College's Bulldogs today. Floater rattles out. TWU pulls it down. Close side, Amari Young up the floor. Jones stops it up, and now Young way back on the front court taking his time. Entry pass, losing this, and it goes over the baseline. Douglas, product of Owensboro High, picking up the foul. Great season for him, 13 and a half points per game. Tennessee Wesleyan with the ball. Kobe Pride on the edge of the block, trying the floater it's short. Battle for the ball down inside. Three point game, 13 combined points. We've played over six minutes already. Union to the close side. Bulldogs driving, floated to the corner. Here's the three, Union College gets it to go. Sam Conley, the junior from Taylorsville, knocks it down. Spencer County high product looking good and it ties us for the first time this morning at eight. Union College like a pressure cooker. Once they're hot, they're gonna be hard to stop, hard to slow down. Young, entry pass to Pride, ball's loose. Bulldogs get it. Here comes UC. Stopping on the arc, an entry pass, a beautiful ball inside. Jay Falls gets the foul in his favor, but the senior from Gary, Indiana, it's not gonna get all three. Gary Roosevelt, high product, will go to the line. Falls had a really nice season. 61% shooting from the field, appeared in 19 games. Usually scored three or four points every time he made his way onto the floor. Picked up a few rebounds as well. Big blocker, 22 blocks throughout the course of the regular season and his 19 appearances. Tied at eight, our first tie of the night. Union looking to take the lead. Won't go. Remains an eight-point game. We played eight minutes and 20 seconds of our first half from Kingsport, Tennessee. College basketball, Southeast Sports Network, AAC Digital Network, live from the Meadowview Marriott Conference Resort Center. Drive down low, ball's lost. Nishan Jones, the senior from Stone Mountain, Georgia, trying to battle through traffic, forces them to foul. Ball up in the air, swatted at. Ty Hurst comes down with it. Three from the straightaway as the shot clock goes. Falls up the floor. Union College Bulldogs, Douglas. Backdoor pass off the glass. This goes. Will Bailey, the senior from San Diego, California, out of Morse High, getting that. Union College out in front, three lead changes already in a two-point game. Union College back to the offensive end from the wing. This one clatters off the heel of the iron. Darius Rogier, the Detroit, Michigan product, pulled it down. Ty Hurst from mid-range, can't get that. Turner, out of Barberville, comes close side. Back door. Tipped by Hurst. Bulldogs. From down low, that goes. I like the move into the paint by Sam Conley. Spencer County High product, specialized in that this season. Played in 25 games. Started a couple for Union College. These two programs will take a timeout. Nearly halfway through the first four-point game, Union College leads. We'll be back, SCSN AAC.
Welcome back to Kingsport, Tennessee. It's a four-point game. 12-8 Union College Bulldogs on the Southeast Sports Network. Thrilled to have you along with us. Here's a look at our men's seeds for the Appalachian Athletic Conference Tournament. The number one seed. Taking on Tennessee Wesley in the number eight seed. Looking to cause a huge upset in the quarterfinal round. Thanks for being with us. Gabriel Shry here, thrilled to have you along for the ride. And hope your morning's off to a great start. Early day for basketball, I love it. Morning basketball. Halfway now exactly through our first half as there's a violation down in the lane. Tennessee Wesleyan Bulldogs really strong at home this season at eight and four, but struggled on the road at three and 10. And at the free throw line this season, they performed very well as a team, 70.3%. This is Nashawn Jones. Rattles off the front, won't go. This is the first trip to the line for Tennessee Wesleyan this morning. This one off the mark as well. So far, these teams combined 0 for 6 at the line today. Bulldogs have yet to convert one as well. Union started the game shooting 11% from the floor. Now they've got that clip up to 33%. Tennessee Wesleyan has dropped from around 40 down to 25. Bulldogs to the corner for three. This goes. Union College extends their lead. Seven point game, 15 8, you see. Sam Connolly with a gorgeous three. Union looking for the steal. They want the ball. And they are all fired up. Morning basketball in Kingsport, Tennessee. SCSN and AAC Digital Network. Back up the floor, this is the Union College Bulldogs, led by Deontay Douglas. Heavily defended beyond the arc. Entry pass, back door, this goes! What a great feed to Markello Sullivan. The senior from Louisville, Kentucky gets it to go. That pushes the lead of Union College to nine points, 17 to eight. Callahan knifes his way to the basket, swatted at and taken down by Jay Falls. Close side, Douglas running the floor, nine minutes left in the first half. Union College taking their time, trying to go to Jay Falls. Will Bailey gets it back. Sam Connolly goes far side. Douglas up to the straightaway for three this goes union college splashes it home to take a 12-point lead uc's bulldogs eight and a half left to play in the first and they are heating up now union college now eight of 18 from the floor 44 percent and also 44 percent four of nine from long range Sam Connolly with eight points, Markel Turner with five. Tennessee Wesleyan to respond to the three of their own, too much on it. Zaylen Callahan, a sophomore from Powder Springs, Georgia. He does a good job, he gets open on the close side of the floor right in front of the Bulldog bench. Just a bit too much on that and it skiffs off the glass and won't go. Now a guy that Tennessee Wesleyan has to be really worried about heating up is Markello Sullivan. Only five points, kind of slow to get into this one. They've only got him the ball a couple of times. Two of three from the floor. Already three rebounds, though, and if he starts to heat up, it's going to be a real problem for the Bulldogs of Tennessee Wesleyan. Tennessee Wesleyan's young to Rogier. He's on the elbow. Darius trying to get down inside, and shot clock violation. On the far side. Will Bailey. Handed it off to Sullivan. 
in the violation down in the lane. Sullivan goes down hard as he collides with Rozier. Great use of Darius Rozier by Tennessee Wesley, and that's a big body, a big frame. Six foot six, 270 pounder. You get him in the lane, and that's a big guy. Detroit, Michigan product. Represents the Motor City well for TWU. Young, outside, ball's lost. Union College, up the floor, Douglas all alone, drops it in off the glass. And the foul on the back side. Deontay Douglas will have a chance to get all three. Douglas, this is his first trip to the line this morning. It's also his first basket, one for four today. He gets all three. 23 to eight, and what a run by Union College. 15 unanswered points. I mean, that is just an unreal run. Bulldogs of Tennessee Wesleyan to cut it. Hurst is short, Rozier fighting inside off the glass. Motor City man gets it to go. Back up the floor, Union College did have that 15-0 unanswered run snapped, but now it's a 17-2 run, which doesn't sound so bad if you're Union College. It's almost hard to believe this was a tie game. 6.40 left to play in our first half. The number one seed in the tournament, Union College Bulldogs defending Rozier and Tennessee Wesley, and Rozier gets caught taking a step, and the ball will go back to UC. Long inbounding pass up the floor. Hamilton fights his way to the edge of the block. This one sails. Six and a half to play in our first. Union College, if you pay attention, they're really cleaning it up on the boards already this morning. Averaged 40 rebounds per game as a team. They're also really good at distributing the ball. You've noticed they've been passing it down inside. Long passes up the floor. They averaged 15 assists per game, 14.8 to be exact. Tennessee Wesleyan looking for Hurst on the edge of the block. He's in danger. Up to the straightaway. Jones to Rozier on the elbow. Five on the shot clock to the corner. Three is short. Boarded by Union College. Running up the floor with great pace off the glass. This won't go. Rozier gets the board. Over to Hurst. Ty Hurst in danger. Keeping it away from Douglas. Jones down to the corner. Entry pass. Rozier battling the double team from the far corner. This goes. A three ball by Tennessee Wesleyan. They get a few back. That's a true freshman from Powder Springs, Kashawn McPherson, that knocks it down. Five and a half to play in our first half, and that helps to break up the run by Union College that was so unstoppable. Short. Rogier gets the board. Tennessee Wesleyan gets another one. So now a 6-0 swing for the Tennessee Wesleyan Bulldogs. Five minutes left to play in the first half from Kingsport, Tennessee. Ton of contact down inside and the violation, Rozier. 
Tennessee Wesleyan, similar clip on the glass per game, about 40 rebounds, 13 assists per game as a team. They've allowed opponents to shoot about 43% from the field on average in their outings this season. That's going to be a problem against Union College. Bulldogs man, first one, no good at the line. This is Markel Turner. His first trip to the line today. He's got seven points already. So far, Union shooting 45% from the floor, 44% from range. They haven't taken a three in almost 10 minutes. Tennessee Wesleyan. They're on a 6 nothing run. Ty Runyon, the true freshman, handed it off. There's the three, too much on it. Gathered by Will Bailey. The senior from San Diego, California, runs the floor. Entry pass down inside. This rims off. Union College keeps it. And a huge collision. McPherson going to the floor with him. Hamilton gets his first at the line. We'll sneak a look at the bracket. We're in game four. It's in the upper left side. Tennessee Wesleyan overcame Montreat to get to this game to battle the number one seed Union. Second one won't go. College basketball, Appalachian Athletic Conference Tournament, 420 to play in our first half. 26-17, entry pass for Tennessee Wesleyan and the violation down the baseline. Thanks for being with us. Southeast Sports Network, Appalachian Athletic Conference Digital Network from Meadowview Marriott Conference and Resort Center. Hope you're having a good morning. Emmanuel Danby at the line. Junior from Toronto, Canada. 6'8", impressive field goal percentage this year in 20 outings. 51.5%. Usually pulled in three or four rebounds per game, four or five points per game as well. Union Bulldogs up the floor. Seven point game, four minutes to go in our first half. Low scoring affair. Douglas all alone near the midcourt stripe. He tries it from mid range. Battle for it on the baseline and now stepping out falls. Looks like this is going to stay with Union off of the foul by TWU. You can see in the center of your screen, that's the head coach of Union's Bulldogs, Tim Curry. On the left side of your screen, just above the SESN logo, that's Ray Stone, six-year head coach at Tennessee Wesleyan. Ty Hurst gets this. Bulldogs close side. Runyon, the true freshman, to the far side to McPherson. From the elbow, passes it close side. This one goes. The knockdown on the assist. Beautiful ball to Kashawn McPherson out of Powder Springs, Georgia. He drains that and cuts it to within five. Seven, one run for the Tennessee Wesleyan Bulldogs. Union College to snap it up, backdoor pass. He goes to the dunk and misses. You've got to elevate on that. You've got to try that. Probably a safer way to get the points, but. Teams 
Well, it looks like a nice day outside and quite the dramatic shift from yesterday. We lost power three times. Got storms rolling through in southeast Tennessee. Middle East Tennessee, I guess. I don't know. A little far north in Tennessee to be calling it southeast. Battle from the middle. Taken in by Union College. Will Bailey, he wants to go the distance, and this one rattles home, but TWU will get the ball back. Six-point game, 2.42 to play in the first half because Sean McPherson will inbound. True freshman from Athens, Tennessee. Ty Runyon running the floor. He's appeared in 22 games this season, 93% at the line. McPherson from the low post. Floater won't drop. I like the turnaround, Jay. Entry pass, Jay Reed out of Birmingham, Alabama, trying to get hooked up down along the baseline. This one sails on him, so it remains a six-point game. Union College takes the ball back. Falls puts it on the floor to Markel Turner. The three from the wing off the mark. Swatted at. This one loose. McPherson comes down with it. Two minutes left to play in our first half. Dicing it up. Runyon wants to go. Backdoor pass. Tipped up. Stolen by Union College. Turner. Outside to Douglas. Looking for space on the wing. Comes close side and gives it off. Turner's going to try the inside on the drive and floats it in off the glass. Union College pushes their lead up to eight points. 29-21, 120 left to play in our first half from Kingsport. College basketball, Southeast Sports Network, Appalachian Athletic Conference, Digital Network closing in on the half. Union College steals this away. Lots of room. Ball is lost down by the baseline in the violation. Will Bailey had a chance to go all the way. The Morse high product fouled on his way to the backboard. He'll go to the line. Pride checks into the game. Emmanuel Danby to the bench. The junior from Toronto going to take a rest. Toronto's got a crazy basketball pipeline going these days. I feel like I see more products out of Canada in general than ever before. Ty Hurst hands it off. Runyon, the true freshman, in a little bit of danger. Around Will Bailey to Pride, who's wide open for three. It's short. Pride keeps it on the floor. Kashawn McPherson floating it back out to Runyon. Swatted, nearly taken by Bailey. 40 seconds left to play in our first half as Runyon is toppled. Bailey picks up the violation. And it sends Runyon to the line. I mentioned a moment ago, Runyon shooting 93.3% at the stripe this season. We'll see how he performs on this trip. First one goes. His first point of the morning. Second goes as well. Runyon's on the board with two. 38 seconds left in this half. Eight seconds, separate the shot and game clock. Turner defended by Reed. Out to Douglas, he's defended by Runyon. Falls sends it back to him. Douglas, 
Loses the ball for a moment. 11 seconds. Two on the shot clock as this one's off. Hurst pulls it down. Five seconds. Tennessee Wesleyan needs to get a shot off. Two seconds. Hurst tries it, and it's short. Got to take the look as time expires on our first half of play from Kingsport, Tennessee. Six-point game. Union College leading Tennessee Wesleyan on SESN and the AAC Digital Network. We'll take a break and be back with the second half in just a moment. Vacation is now playing in Tennessee. Every generation, it has started with the call to serve. Discovering the purpose and the belonging earned with the title. Learning to dig deep and push through adversity together. Defending our nation and its people. It is a life of great worth and reward. But Marines are never really finished serving. Their commitment comes full circle, visible in communities across our country. This is Semper Fidelis, always faithful, always Marine. Marking a path 
for the next generation. Welcome to SESN, your ticket to the front row of the sports world, covering local, regional, and national events. We bring the game to you. Feel the excitement of every play, every score, every victory. Get your seat, get on air, and immerse yourself in the heart-pounding action. The Southeast Sports Network, where sports come to life. We believe in the power of connection, promoting your brand while supporting your community. Our goal is to elevate your presence and amplify your message through local sports. With Shry Media, advertising goes beyond traditional boundaries. Get on television. Make an impact. Take the first step towards a future where your brand is not just seen, but celebrated. connect, to discover, to explore a Georgia that always has more stories to share and views to admire. Set for your next adventure while you set your own pace to wonder or wander or whatever it is that makes you feel you. To feel that Georgia feeling, those beautiful, real, honest moments, the only found in Georgia moments. Find yours at exploregeorgia.org. My character, Shazam, knows all about growing up in a family full of teenage superheroes. They're bold. Where's everyone going? To fight crime. Okay. Adventurous. Shazam! There's never a dull moment. Ah! And no matter what happens, they'll always have your back. All they need is a place to grow and be themselves. And the best part is, you don't have to be a superhero to adopt a teen. Learn more about adopting a teen from foster care. Visit AdoptUSKids.org. 
Welcome back to Kingsport, Tennessee, inside of Meadowview Marriott Conference and Resort Center, College Basketball, Southeast Sports Network, Appalachian Athletic Conference, Digital Network. These are our men's seeds. We're at the half between Union College's Bulldogs, Tennessee Wesleyan's Bulldogs. Union, the number one seed, Tennessee Wesleyan, the number eight seed. 22 wins this year for the Bulldogs of Union College. Really good matchup so far at the half. Union leading by just six, 29-23. Second half promises to be very exciting. Quick look at the Bulldogs as a team. 45% shooting from the floor this season. Nearly 87 points per game. And our players to watch today, Markello Sullivan for the Bulldogs of Union College and Amari Young for Tennessee Wesleyan's Bulldogs. Both active in the first half. Slow to warm up today, and I, I think it might just be because this is a morning game, really unusual for these guys. Second half is underway in a six-point game. SESN, AAC Digital Network. Floater from mid-range won't go. Hope your morning is off to a great start, enjoying a cup of coffee. Tuning in for some college hoops from Gabriel Fry. Battle for it down on the baseline. This one skeeters out of play. We've already seen three lead changes between these two. Pass down towards the baseline, sails. And so the ball will go back to Tennessee Wesleyan. Be sure to join us for our next broadcast. Truett McConnell's Bears, Bryan College Lions, the number one seed on the women's side. Douglas coming up the floor. Bulldogs of Union College working it all around. To the close side, this one skeeters over the baseline. For three, this is short for Tennessee Wesleyan. Douglas coming up the floor. Owensboro product hands it off. To the close side, back with Douglas. He's defended by Young in a huge collision inside. From the corner for three, this goes. Flashing it home, the senior from Louisville, Markello Sullivan. That's why he was our player to watch. Dropping that home, looking good. Sullivan may be starting to heat up. Two minutes into the second half, 32-23, nine-point game. This one from short range, big high bounce for Union College. West gets the board, flips it over. Young has help on the backside, wants to take it himself off the glass. This goes. Mari Young getting that to go. Starting to get involved in scoring. Here's the three from the close wing. Automatic. Wrestling the twine. Taryn Hamilton. Hamilton, four points this morning. It's now a 10 point game. Hurst in the corner. Up to the straightaway, and Young, who pulls up for the three. He gets it to go. Now Hurst. Giving that to Young, and he's starting to get the lid off of the basket. Seven points for him. And that's a guy that Tennessee Wesleyan Bulldogs need to get involved. Back onto the floor. Fighting and can get this to go. 
The violation going to go against Kashawn McPherson. Turner will inbound. Union College. This one off the mark. McPherson fighting for it and Douglas diving for the ball. Three minutes gone in our second half. Seven point game. Union Bulldogs out in front. Neck and neck start. Since the break, Amari Young, he's got seven. Distributes this to Jones right out front. Pride gets it from short range. Cutting the lead of Union College down to just five points. Bulldogs man, Douglas outside. On the wing, Union College. To the corner for three, this one goes. Finding the twine, it's Markello Sullivan out of Fairdale High. That pushes the lead of Union back to eight points. Off the mark, Tennessee Wesleyan keeps it alive. Young from the elbow, can't get this. Boarded up. The Bulldogs, man down. Sullivan from the close swing, big collision. There's a head coach of Johnson University's Royals, Brian Lahan. We'll see them on the floor for the first time in the tournament in just a little bit. Off the mark. Sullivan at the line. This one goes. Sullivan now leading all scorers in this morning's game. Gets this to go as well. Sullivan two for five at the line, four for seven from the floor. He's got 13 points. Jay Reed hands this off to West, back to him. Outside, Bulldogs of TWU. Pride in danger. Heavily defended. Reed will try this from mid-range. Couldn't get it. Shot clock was winding. Had to do something. Anton Mazga passed this up the floor. Dogs. Sullivan back door. Ball's loose. TWU comes up with it in traffic. Jones loses the ball. Over the midcourt stripe to West, who's harassed by Douglas. Mari Young. Back to Peyton West. We've got a problem with the shot clock. Reed will inbound for Tennessee Wesleyan. Reed, off the pass back from West, gets it to go, and one. Jay Reed, the junior from Birmingham, Alabama, will go to the line. Reed, that's his first basket on four shots. Two points to go along with three rebounds and an assist. That assist was a nice ball on a three. He'll stay with two points. Five minutes gone in our second half. Kobe Pride tries a second time. Union College pulls it in. Eight point game. Margin has remained the same for the last two minutes. We've seen three lead changes and a tie this morning between these two teams. Right now Union College comfortably driving the bus. Sullivan gets this at the line. Change on the floor for the Bulldogs of Tennessee Wesley and Rogier onto the floor. Pride will take a break. This one goes at the line for Sullivan. 
Young running the floor. Ari Young to Jay Reed. He hands it off. Peyton West pulls up. This goes. Peyton West knocks it down from range. The floater for Union College swatted way outside. That goes over the midcourt stripe. The official says that was tipped, so Union College no over and back. For three. This one's short. Mazga pulled up from range. TWU to Jones. And a huge collision down inside. They'll call that a charge. A couple of changes coming onto the floor. Conley into the game, falls into the game for Union College. Turner from the front court. Gave it off to Douglas. Flipped across to Sullivan. Sullivan blows the tire, balls loose, picked up by Jones. He's got a head of steam for Tennessee Wesleyan. And as he steps his way inside, the violation by the official on the baseline. Turner gets hit with a foul. This is Jones who goes to the line for Tennessee Wesleyan. Stone Mountain Georgia product, the senior. He's been good in this final year, regular season, five points per game. Not very good at the line, though. This is his weak spot, 44.5% at the charity strike. Jones now 0 for 3 at the line today. His second goes. Six and a half minutes gone in our second half of play between the Bulldogs of Union College and Tennessee Wesleyan. Bulldog action on the Southeast Sports Network, Appalachian Athletic Conference Digital Network. Tennessee Wesleyan up the floor. It's Jones again who tries to ladle it in and off the mark. Douglas off the takeaway. A little battle in the corner with the ball, and it's loose as we get the whistle from the baseline. Jay Reed, the junior from Birmingham, picks up the violation. Douglas fighting against Young, tries this off the glass, Rozier gets it. Long outlet pass up the floor, Reed off the glass, this is turning into a track meet, and Tennessee Wesleyan probably a big fan of that as they've now made it a four point game in Kingsport, Tennessee. A couple of changes coming on the floor, we're gonna keep it right here. College basketball, SCSN, AAC. Turner gives it off. Douglas, close side, fading. Oh, I thought he had it. Will Bailey with a beautiful shot, just couldn't hit it. A little bit of contact, Jones picks it up. West from the corner gets this to go, and it's a one-point game in Kingsport. What a swing for Tennessee Wesleyan's Bulldogs. The Bulldogs on a 9-2 run. To cut it, and it does. Douglas drains the three.
Off the mark. Tennessee Wesleyan's Rogier keeps it going. Young. And this goes off the glass. Nice bucket. Tennessee Wesleyan keeps it within two. Young is still down on the floor. Hopefully he's all right. The official's going to let this play out on the other end for Union College as Falls gets the putback. And we've got a break. Will they check on Young? We'll take a break with him. College basketball, SCSN, AAC. Welcome back to Kingsport, Tennessee, where it's a one-point game between the Bulldogs of Union College and Tennessee Wesley. And this one, back and forth, a battle. Hope you're having a good morning. Thrilled to have you with us, SCSN AAC Digital Network. This one goes down inside. Nice layup, Markel Turner off the inbounding pass. And a timeout on the floor. We'll keep it here for this timeout. Take a look at the men's basketball bracket for the Appalachian Athletic Conference Tournament. Lots of great action so far. Here's our bracket. We've played three games. Most recently, Milligan and Johnson in game three. Union and Tennessee Wesleyan right now in game four. We're in the upper left side of the bracket. Later today, we'll see Pikeville and Truett McConnell. Truett McConnell upset Reinhardt yesterday. Lots of action on the Southeast Sports Network, Appalachian Athletic Conference Digital Network. We've got it all from Kingsport, Tennessee. Thanks for being with us. We're back underway. Tennessee Wesleyan trailing by just three points, 49-46. Rogier. Back door, Reed off the glass in the violation. Rogier is a guy who creates a lot of extra chances for Tennessee Wesleyan, chasing the ball inside, playing big down on the block. And when he creates those extra chances, you know, it creates crucial points for Tennessee Wesleyan. They're going to look to him in the late stages. Tennessee Wesleyan is going to try to create extra scoring chances, something they've been able to do all season long. They've out-rebounded opponents by three or four rebounds per game all year long. They'll look to do that against Union College, but the Bulldogs of Union are just huge inside. It's going to be challenging to do what they usually do to find that success. Two-point game, 49-47. We've played almost half of our second half. This one goes. One point game between the Bulldogs. Close side on the wing, entry pass. Reed defensively able to throw him off. Bailey can't hit it. Tennessee Wesleyan. It would be their first lead of the second half. Bulldogs to Rogier. For 50, it goes. Bank is open for some cash money. It's 50 to 49. That's our fourth lead change of the game, the first of the second half for Tennessee Wesleyan's Bulldogs. The step back from the straightaway for three, it clatters off. Union College will keep the ball. Douglas down to Bailey. He can't get the mid-range, Jay. Tennessee Wesleyan loses this to Sullivan. Markello, back to him on the wing. He's wide open, can't knock it down. Tennessee Wesleyan, it's a track meet. Nine minutes left to play. Peyton West, automatic but can't hit it. Markello Sullivan gets the rebound and he'll take his time walking up the floor. 
Sullivan, the senior from Louisville, Kentucky, a Fairdell high product. Really important piece of this Union College Bulldog team all season long. Our player to watch today. Reed picks up the foul. Sullivan will go to the line. He could put his team back in front on this trip to the stripe. Here's a look at his season stats. Markello Sullivan, 17 points per game, 9 rebounds per game. Today, 15 points, 4 for 9 from the floor, 3 of them, 3 balls, 4 for 7 at the line. Also, 6 rebounds and an assist to go along with that. Off the mark. Sullivan named the all-conference team for his performance this season. 12 blocks, 52 steals in the regular season. Pretty unbelievable performance. And we're tied for just the second time tonight at 50 in Kingsport. Under nine minutes to play in our second game of the day in Appalachian Athletic Conference basketball action. Out to Rogier, the big man. Into the block, back door. This goes off the glass for Tennessee Wesleyan. Tennessee Wesleyan keeps the lead. Union College, back door. Trying off the glass, he gets it. Sullivan, 18 points. 50% from the floor. Bulldogs. Callahan walked it up. Rozier knifes his way down inside and blockered away. Good play by the big man Hamilton out of Georgetown. Backdoor pass. Looking to get hooked up with Sullivan and Bailey slow to rise after he took a big shot in the paint. Will Bailey, a senior from San Diego, California. Timeout on the floor by the Tennessee Wesleyan Bulldogs will take a timeout as well. Third tie of the morning, college basketball, Southeast Sports Network, AAC Digital Network. Welcome back to Kingsport, Tennessee. Just under eight minutes to play in our third tie of the morning at 52 between the Union College and Tennessee Wesleyan Bulldogs. Couple of really good seasons. Tennessee Wesleyan never really went on any winning streaks. They never won more than two games in a row. Union College hasn't lost since January 10th. I mean, that's just wild. That's a lot of wins in a row for the Bulldogs of Union College. 11 straight, 21 wins in conference play. They won almost 90% of their conference games. Rozier, backdoor pass and the violation. Trying for Reed. Both of these teams played some interesting games. Number six, Indiana Wesleyan hosted Union to open the season. On November 24th, Union played Florida Memorial. They also battled Arizona Christian on the 25th. Freed Hardeman on the 16th of December. Tennessee Wesleyan played some really interesting games as well. I mentioned earlier UT Chattanooga on December 10th. 
traveled to Carson Newman on December 19th. Some really powerful opponents that factor into their numbers. Right now a two point game, Bulldogs just barely holding onto the lead. We've already seen four lead changes this morning. The pull up off the mark, Rozier gets this. Shot clock's a bit late. Jones off the bottom of the board and now the violation. Union wants a jump ball. Bailey picks it up, the senior from San Diego. Going to the line is Jay Reed, the junior from Birmingham. It's a two point game. Tennessee Wesleyan can cushion their lead. They haven't led by more than two points in this second half. This one clatters all around and won't go for Reed. Jay Reed, four for five at the line, now four for six. Eight points this morning. Second goes, nine points now for Reed. Three point game. Largest lead of the second half for Tennessee Wesleyan. Official was not happy with that. A pretty stern warning he just gave him. Six forty-seven left to play from Kingsport. First one goes at the line for Union. Second one goes as well. One point game. 55-44. Tennessee Wesleyan close side. Rozier outside, stripped away. Lots of room up the floor and the violation at the very end. I thought Turner was gonna go the distance. Grab that and we get the whistle as he makes his way into the paint. Turner will go to the line. He's two for four at the stripe today. 13 points for him. Two rebounds, two assists to go along with that stat line as he gets his first at the line on this trip. 14 points. Three for five at the charity stripe. It's both. Six twenty to play. Tennessee Wesleyan running the floor. It's Callahan. Side to Reed. Spinning, knifing his way inside. Back out to West. West backdoor pass. Rozier battling in the paint. Gets this to roll over the front end of the twine. Fifty-seven, fifty-six. This one goes in response. Union back out in front. And another one. Back and forth we go. Fifty-eight, fifty-nine. Seven lead changes this morning. Bulldogs knifing their way to the basket. Turner, the violation. So Zaylen Callahan picks up the foul. Turner is back to the line. Two for two on his last trip. Today he's four for six. He's got 15 points. 
Count Turner for 16. Turner, 17. Our eighth lead change of the morning. This one is looking tight. We'll take a break with these two teams and be back with more College Hoops. Southeast Sports Network, AAC Digital Network. Welcome back to Kingsport, Tennessee, college basketball on the Southeast Sports Network, AAC Digital Network. Thrilled to have you along with us. This one's been really good, 60 to 59. Right now, Union in the lead. Back and forth, they've gone with Tennessee Wesleyan. There's the Bryan College Lions, the number one team on the women's side of the bracket. Getting ready to take the floor, we'll have them next. Pretty exciting stuff. Can't wait to see how they perform in the tournament. They have been champions time and time and time again in Appalachian Athletic Conference play. Tennessee Wesleyan on the offensive end of the floor. Trailing by just one point. Rogier, what a move, can't get the bucket. Sullivan, our player to watch for Union College. Less than five to play, he'll run the floor. We've seen no less than eight lead changes this morning. Drive this one short. I do apologize for the weirdness with our score bug. It's powered by a camera pointed at the scoreboard, and with them on the floor here as people walk in front of them, it makes the score go funky on you. That's why the time and score have been weird this morning. Douglas at the line. This goes. Extending the lead to two points for Union College. Douglas gets his second as well. A three point game in Kingsport, Tennessee between the Bulldogs of Union College and Tennessee Wesleyan. Union in the lead with 4.25 to play. Callahan back up to the straightaway in West. Now the feed to Callahan who knifes his way inside. Ball taken by Mazga. Back door, Douglas in a track meet. Now he'll hit the brakes. Union College slows it up. They lead by three, four minutes to go. They're gonna go all the way back out to the midcourt stripe and take their time. Douglas defended by Reed. Douglas, from the wing, he knocks it down. Unreal. A five point game, 64 59. 340 to go. Callahan flips this across to Nishan Jones. Close side, Callahan to Rozier. Rozier bangs this off the glass, balls loose over the baseline, and it goes to Union College. Mm -hmm. 
Great turnout today. Lots of time to get out here if you're in driving distance. Tickets very affordable. Visit aacsports.com. Be with us. Visit Kingsport, Tennessee. Floated close side. Ball poked at by Runyon. Hanging on to it is Turner, the senior from Barberville. Up to the wing, Sullivan. To the straightaway. Mozga wants three, it's short. Runyon running the floor, gave it off. Floated to Reed. Out front, Rozier, the violation, and one as he'll go to the line. Rogier going to take a trip to the charity stripe. Eight rebounds for the man out of Detroit, Michigan. Three assists today. That's his fourth bucket of the morning. He's got nine points, seeking ten. Two fifty-three to play. A three-point game for the moment. Here come the Union College Bulldogs. I expected this to be a good game, but I did not expect it to be this close. Number one seed Union College's Bulldogs are in danger of falling to the Tennessee Wesleyan Bulldogs. Their first game of the AAC tournament. From the corner, this one won't go. Runyon, the rebound. Fighting his way inside, floater goes. Tennessee Wesleyan cuts it to within one. It's funny, whenever I talk about sports and coverage of playoff games, I find myself saying a lot, everything kind of goes out the window when you hit the playoffs. You know, all the rules, all bets are off. That applies in this situation. Everything's out the window. This is just the Bulldogs going at it in the mud. Less than two to play in a one-point game from Kingsport. Union. Can't extend their lead. Rozier gets it. The violation. Tennessee Wesleyan comes away with the ball. And so that's going to send Tennessee Wesleyan's Rozier to the line. He's a little bit shaken up, taking his time getting up the floor. Number 23 is on the far right side of your screen. Rogier, one for two at the line, only one trip so far. He's got nine points. For the one and one, still shaking it off. They're going to pull him off the floor, so hopefully he's all right. Kobe Pride's on. Truett McConnell also in the house. They'll be in our next game. As we shift back to the women's basket, Reed gets his first and ties us at 64. It's our fourth tie of the morning. Less than two to play. Reed snaps the tie. Nine lead changes. 65-64. This one coming down to the wire. Trouble along the block, back outside. Firing from mid-range, this goes for Mazga. Mazga makes it a one-point game, but flips the script as our 10th lead change of the game puts Union in front. Union. 
One minute to play from Kingsport, Tennessee. 66-65, Union College leading Tennessee Wesley. And here's Nashawn Jones, the violation. So with 51 seconds to play, Union College gets the ball back. They've got a one-point lead. The number one seeded Union Bulldogs up the floor. Douglas has a lot of room. Foot race to the glass. He gets it to go. That extends Union College's lead to three, 68-65. I don't think we could have asked for a better slate of games to this point. 45 seconds on the clock and a timeout in Kingsport. We'll keep it here for this timeout. We're going to take advantage of it, though. Three-point game, 68-65. First a look at our seating. Maybe not. Here's our men's seating. Number one Union Bulldogs battling the number eight Tennessee Wesleyan Bulldogs. Tennessee Wesleyan threatening to pull off a monumental upset in the late stages of this one. We'll see if they can make that lift or not. Before we get back underway, a quick look at the women's bracket. Next up, we've got game number four. Bryan College, Truett McConnell, the Lions and the Bears. All on the Southeast Sports Network and Appalachian Athletic Conference Digital Network. Back underway. Three-point game, 40 seconds to play from Kingsport. Union College leading 68-65, the violation. Thirty two point nine seconds on the clock. So Mazga will shoot two. First goes, it pushes the lead of Union College to four. Mazga's going to make this a very difficult situation if he knocks down his second. Five point game, 33 seconds left to play. Mazga good for four points. Tennessee Wesleyan. So that three, 28 seconds left to play, 27.8 to be precise. And a timeout, it's a two-point game. Union College leading by just two. There's the Bulldogs of Union College. Be with us for our next game as well. Bryan College Lions standing by. They're going to take on the Bears of Truett McConnell. Lady Lions, the number one seed on the women's side of the bracket. Truett McConnell standing by on the other end of the floor. There's the Bulldogs of Tennessee Wesleyan. Here's your Union College Bulldogs. Union College leads by two, 27.8 seconds to play from Kingsport, Tennessee. <laughs> Union, onto the floor, double team quickly in the corner, in some danger, floated up by Hamilton, he finds Mazga. Mazga pumps the brakes and quickly the timeout. 
the intentional foul by Tennessee Wesleyan. Mazga really good at the line in these late stages. Off the mark. Misses both. 20 seconds to play, two point game. 70 68. Tennessee Wesleyan takes a timeout. Fourteen point seven seconds on the clock. We'll take a look back at the men's bracket. Union and Tennessee Wesleyan in a two point game coming down to the wire. They'll go on to the semifinal and game number seven, only one can advance. From Kingsport, Tennessee, it's the Appalachian Athletic Conference Tournament on the Southeast Sports Network. Young inbounds. 10 seconds. Seven seconds, Tennessee Wesleyan looking for the buzzer beater. Four seconds, the three is short, three seconds left. Two, Lazier puts it back and ties us. There's the buzzer. There's the buzzer. We're gonna get some free basketball in Kingsport, tied at 70, going to overtime. Okay, now I'm being told seven tenths of a second remaining. We'll see if we get a game winner with seven tenths of a second. Left in the second half, onto the floor, the pull up, Sullivan, the length of the floor, it had the distance, but it was just wide. That sends us to overtime. Tied at 70, we're gonna play a little more basketball in game two of day two, game three of the men's bracket on SCSN and the AAC Network. We'll be back in just a second after this quick break. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome back to Kingsport, Tennessee. We've got overtime between Tennessee Wesleyan and Union College. It's going to take a five minute overtime period to pick a winner between Tennessee Wesleyan and Union College. A trip to the semifinal on the line. Sullivan off the glass, too much on it. Boarded by Peyton West. Union College, the number one seed in the AAC tournament. To the far side for three. This has got a little too much. Rogier back door off the glass. This goes. Reed gets it. Two point game. Tennessee Wesleyan extends their lead out to the straightaway. The Orange Bulldogs to the wing. Hamilton backing down Rozier. Rozier goes to the wood, no call. Runyon, the true freshman, running the floor at track meet, backside off the glass and won't go. Boarded up by Turner. He goes across the floor. Douglas will take his time. One minute gone already in overtime. Three minutes, 50 seconds left to play in OT. Ball's lost. Union can't pick it up. Fight for the ball. A couple of changes coming for both Bulldogs. Tennessee Wesleyan Union College in overtime in a two-point game. Tennessee Wesleyan right now leading in a narrow margin over Union College. Wesleyan the eighth seed. Union College, the number one seed on the men's side of the bracket. This one has come down to overtime to pick a winner. Just a few moments on the AAC Digital Network and Southeast Sports Network will have the Bears of Truett McConnell and the Lady Lions of Bryan College. Here's a look at the Bryan Lions up from Dayton, Tennessee. Bulldogs of Union back onto the floor. We're ready to continue. Two point game. 3.44 on the clock. Hurst gives it off to West. We played 90 seconds of our overtime. The true freshman, Runyon, cuts his way down low. Ball's lost. Union College comes up with this. Union running the floor outside to the corner. The floater from a long two. This one goes for Mazga. That ties us. Our 10th tie of the morning, 72-72. TWU, the handoff to West. Goes to the corner, Runyon knocks down the three, 75-72. Tennessee Wesleyan hanging on, leading by three and seeking the monster upset over the number one Union College Bulldogs. The floater from the elbow skiffs off the front of the iron for Union. Reed picks it up. He'll hand it off to Runyon, who will run the floor. Ty Runyon from Athens, Tennessee, the true freshman, goes across to Jay Reed, the junior from Birmingham. This is Rogier. Hurst, way back on the front court. Stolen by Union College. Markel Turner loses this and nearly goes down as he crashes into the paint. Hurst picks up the foul. Two minutes, five seconds on the clock. TWU leading by three, 
This goes, cuts it to a two point game. Two minutes left to play. Runyon, the true freshman, defended by Douglas. The entry pass, Runyon blocked. Union College with the ball. They trail by two. Entry pass, down low, this goes off the glass. Taryn Hamilton, the junior from Georgetown, ties us. Our seventh tie of the morning. 75-75, 90 seconds left in overtime. Hurst, across to Reed. Reed to the corner, Rogier backs down the defender, off the glass and it won't go. That kills 10 more seconds. Deontay Douglas, defended by Runyon. Tied with 70 seconds left to play. Mazga for three, this one off the mark. Hurst has it down low. Union wanted a violation, they won't get it. Less than one minute to play. Reed to Hurst, 40 seconds. Hurst fights his way to the basket and trying to take the shot, the violation down on the edge of the block. Taron Hamilton defending him out of Scott County High. Too much contact for the liking of the official. So he blows his whistle. Hurst to the line. Jay falls into the game for the Union College Bulldogs. Ty Hurst looking to snap a tie with 36.2 seconds in overtime. College basketball from Kingsport, Tennessee. One and one. Hurst. Short. Union boards this. Douglas, 25 seconds. Union, five seconds separate the shot and game clock. The Battle of the Bulldogs, the number one seed, Union College Bulldogs, number eight, Tennessee Wesleyan Bulldogs. Douglas, five on the shot clock, lets it go from mid range. Reed has it on the baseline. Blockered out, and he stumbles out of play. They're saying the ball will go to Union. 6.7 seconds on the clock. Shot clock is off. We're tied in overtime. Turner will inbound. Onto the floor. Five seconds. Mazga drives inside. Two seconds. Fires at the violation. Down along the baseline. Fouled. This sends Mazga to the line. One point four seconds on the clock in overtime. A tie game as Mozga's at the line. Takes a bounce and drops in. One point game now. Union College can win this in overtime and avoid the major upset. Mozga off the mark. One point game and that kills the clock. Congratulations to Union College, the number one seed in the AAC tournament, keeps it going and wins in overtime to avoid the stunning upset in Kingsport. That'll do it for game number two, day number two, game three of our men's bracket. They advance to the semifinal. We'll be back with women's college basketball. Hope you'll join us for that as well. Next up, the Bears of Truett McConnell and the Lions of Bryan College. Bulldogs of Union come away with a one-point game 
and a victory to remain the number one seed in the tournament and alive. For the Bulldogs, our entire crew, I'm Gabriel Shry saying so long from Kingsport, Tennessee, 76-75 Union College wins. This is Ben College Hoops. All games and events airing on our networks are broadcast live and our copyright material. Today's game will be archived inside of the Apple platform where you viewed it and available for replay. This has been a presentation of the Southeast Sports Network. Vacation is now playing in Tennessee. Thank you for joining us for today's broadcast. This broadcast is a product of Shry Media, LLC. Unauthorized use, sale, or redistribution of this media in any form is strictly prohibited without the express written consent of Shry Media. Radio and television mediums are encouraged to reach out. Thank you for tuning in. Enjoy the game.